All right, hey you guys, um, it's been a little bit of time since we've done a video note, but today I want to try it again. And today we're going to talk about uh, lesson 4-4, four four, which is about using congruent triangles, otherwise known as CPCTC. And we've been proving uh, in the last few sections that two triangles are congruent by one of these four methods, uh, side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, or angle, angle, side. Now that we have a pretty good grasp on how to prove two triangles congruent, we're going to take it one step further and we're going to use the fact that all six matching parts of congruent triangles have to be congruent. So in other words, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Um, this is known as CPCTC. Okay, so CPCTC is going to be a valid reason that we can use in a proof. And so the very first question I have for you is, what does CPCTC stand for? And if you write down CPCTC, you're telling me corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. This is what you're telling me when you say CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And the key is you have to have congruent triangles first. You must have congruent triangles before you use CPCTC. This is very, very, very important. Very important. You must have those congruent triangles before you ever use CPCTC as a reason. All right. To give you an example, the first thing is they're going to have pictures of triangles, and you have to first prove that they are congruent. So step, number two says tell how you would show these two triangles are congruent. Now don't forget we have to have three parts, three parts that have to be marked. And in each picture right now I only have two, so I'm going to add my common side. So I know that AM is congruent to AM through the reflexive property. And so I would show AM congruent to AM by reflexive property. Then I could use the reason of angle side angle. Angle side angle to say the triangles are congruent. All right. Now notice what's marked. I have a single marked angle here and a single marked angle there. I have a double marked angle here and a double marked angle there and I have this side. The question is what parts are not marked? What parts are not marked? And that's going to allow you to answer question three. What other parts must now be congruent because they're also corresponding parts of congruent triangles? So the parts that are not marked are the following. I have this side right here must match this side. So I know that AC would have to be congruent to AB. That's one part. I also know that this part must equal this part. So CM would have to be congruent to BM because of CPCTC. And the last part not marked is this angle and this angle. So angle C would have to be congruent to angle B, all because of CPCTC. So once you have two triangles congruent, of which you've already listed three marks, you will be able to give me three more marks. All 
are congruent by CPCTC. All right, we're going to do the same thing again for numbers 4 and 5. My recommendation to you is you try to answer it yourself first by pausing the video and then restart the video to see if we answer it correctly. Number four says, tell how you would show these two triangles are congruent. Again, I only have two marks available. I am allowed to mark these angles congruent because vertical angles. So, angle RUQ would have to be congruent to angle TUS because of vertical angles. Then, how would I prove the triangles are congruent? Read the marks, angle, angle, side. So I would use angle, angle, side to prove the two triangles are congruent. Now once again, now that I know these triangles are congruent from angle, angle, side, I need three more parts that I can mark. Three more parts that I can mark. The ones in red are already marked. So, I'm going to name the ones that are not red as being congruent. So, three more parts. R. Let's start with the angle. Angle R and angle T. There's one part. Uh, this side, RQ this side TS and the last part is this side right here QU matching up this side SU those are the three additional parts so you're going to put it together in proofs. So let me do the very first problem for you. It's on page 222. It's number two. And this is exactly how you're going to do your homework in class. So page 222, number two, looks like this. Don't forget, you have to do the proof setups. And so the very first thing you have to do is draw the picture. So I'm going to first draw the picture. This is A, B, C, D. I have to tell what I'm going to prove next to the picture. Now I'm going to prove parts. I'm going to prove A, B is congruent to C, B. That's what I want to prove. I want to prove A, B is congruent to C, B. I'm like, man, how am I going to do this? So here's my statements. And here's my reasons. And don't forget, your very first statement is what you are given. In this problem, I'm given angle ABD is congruent to angle CBD. And I'm also given angle BDA is congruent to angle BDC. This is given to me. I'm going to mark what was given to me. Angle ABD, this angle, is congruent to angle CBD, this angle. Angle BDA, this one, is congruent to angle BDC, that one. I have two congruent marks. My plan is I'm going to prove these two triangles are congruent and then use CPCTC. In order to prove these two triangles are congruent, I need one more mark. The one more mark I need is my common side. I need to state this. So my second statement is that BD is congruent to BD. 
through the reflexive property. Now that I have all three marks, I can now state my triangles are congruent. What triangles are congruent? It doesn't matter how you name them. So I'm going to say triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD. And the reason why my triangles are congruent is because of angle side angle. Now that I have congruent triangles, now that I have congruent triangles, I know all the rest of the parts are congruent. The parts I want specifically are AB and CB. Notice they are lined up. So I can now state what I'm trying to prove. And I'm trying to prove that AB is congruent to CB. I know they are. And the reason I know this is because corresponding parts of congruent triangles must be congruent. CPCTC. And I am done with this proof. This is exactly how you guys are going to be doing the rest of the homework in class. Okay, you guys. I hope you have a good night. Uh, make sure you bring these notes with you to class tomorrow. And be ready to do proofs in class. You have a great night. Bye.